Under the unstinting gaze of Australia's sporting legends, the National Sports Museum at the MCG was a fitting venue to honour Australia's greatest auto racer, the three-time World Formula One champion, Sir Jack Brabham. The occasion was the launch of a limited edition model of Sir Jack's most famous car, the Brabham BT-19. The BT-19 was the first and only car to win the World Championship, bearing the name of its driver. Powered by the locally built Repco engine, the car took on the thoroughbreds of Europe and beat them on their own turf. 1,000 of the special limited edition models have been made and Frank Tregellis of Australian model manufacturer Top Gear was on hand to present Sir Jack with the number one model of the run. It was a gesture clearly appreciated by Brabham, who was most impressed with the model's quality. Oh, fantastic, actually. Uh, a beautiful little model, too. Um, it's really done a credit for it, really. And um, it's, it's very satisfying to have somebody come along and make a beautiful model like that of the car. Uh, the um, car that I had so much fun in in 1966. <laughs> Does it seem that long ago now? I mean, this weekend we're celebrating the, uh, your first win at Monaco uh, back 50 years ago. Does it seem that, that long ago to you? No, not really. You know, 50 years has gone by just like that, really. And um, I'm now worried about how, many, about how long it's going to go on. <laughs> As patriarch of the Brabham Racing Dynasty, Sir Jack remains proud of his championship winning sons. And now he has a third generation to follow, with his grandson Matthew currently leading the Victorian Formula Ford Championship. Uh, fantastic, actually. Uh, you know, I, I had uh, three boys take motor racing on. They all done very, very well, um, particularly Geoffrey. Matthew's father, done very, very well in America. And uh, now, Matthew is going to keep the name going. So uh, we haven't heard the last of the Brabham name. I'm sure Matthew will um, do a good job. I'm sure we haven't. I mean, we were talking to him about what, uh, what advice you would give him. What, what advice did you give him, and what advice would you give to young racing drivers of Matthew's age? Um, well, that's a difficult thing really because you can give them all the advice in the world but at the end of the day they've got to do it in the car and hold the wheel and get the job done so it really comes down to them in the end and uh, you know, Matthew's done a very good job of that already.